Okay, welcome. In this video, you are going to learn how to create a Bitmoji virtual classroom. There are a lot of teachers who are requesting this, so I am going to do my best <laughs> to try to be very clear and concise on how I created my virtual classroom, which I think is fabulous. It is so much fun and the links are clickable. So there'll be many videos on how to create this. I'm not going to make a long video because I think you can learn better when there are many videos that are available. So the very first thing you're going to do is go into your Google platform and open up Google Slides. Once you open up Google Slides, you will see um, this message here to click to add title and click to add subtitle. You're going to click here, click in the edge, and you're going to delete and do the same thing for both so that you have a clean canvas. Once you have a clean canvas, it's very simple from there. You're going to imagine your classroom or what a classroom has in detail and you'll start adding your images. Very simple. Some teachers really are particular and would really like to try to create or replicate their classroom. But if you cannot find all the items to replicate your classroom, then you can make a fun new classroom for your students. Okay. So the very first thing you're going to do is click on insert. Then you're going to go to image. It will show you a number of ways that you can add the images to your canvas. Well, if you are brand new and just starting your virtual classroom, or if you continue, most of the time you are going to be using search the web or upload from your computer. But if you are searching the web, you will click search the web and you will type in transparent before whatever it is that you are going to be searching for. The reason being is because you need a transparent image that does not have a background um, that is attached to it so that it will fit on your classroom nicely without any of these clashing backgrounds that are going on. So. Before you even begin, you need to place a wall and floor. So you're going to write classroom or type classroom, wall and floor. Hit return. It'll give you different wall and floors. You don't want any images in it. You want it to be blank, such as this one or this one. Let's scroll down and see if I like another one. And I am going to use this one. Go down to insert. Voila, you will slide it over and now what you will do is you will go to the corners and stretch it out so that it covers the entire canvas. Okay, and make sure there is no white edges so that you know that the entire canvas is covered. Once you have your wall and floor, now you can begin inserting your images. You're going to do the same step. Image, search the web, type in transparent. And now maybe I would like a whiteboard. So I'm going to say classroom, whiteboard. I have a number of whiteboards that come up. I don't particularly like those, so let's take out the word classroom. And now you want a, I'm just going to click on this one for time's sake. Insert, you want a whiteboard that is facing forward. I didn't use the other ones because they were kind of tilting. I'm going to put my whiteboard in the middle of the classroom because it's normally where it's at. There you have your whiteboard. Remember you put in the, you typed in the word transparent so there is no background attached to this, attached to this whiteboard. Now you'll go and do the same steps. Image, search the web. Let's type in, you want a transpar uh, transparent rug. I'm gonna use this one because this image is already designed to easily fit on the floor. I'm going to slide it down and those are the types of images you want to look for when they have already been designed horizontally and all you have to do is slide it and fit it on your floor move it a little bit forward and there you have your rug same steps let's go in and type in transparent chair 
Oh, here's a fun share. Some teachers like that they remember to click that insert. It's just like I forgot to do. And you can slide down your chair and position it wherever you like. I'm positioning it next to my whiteboard. I'm actually going to make that a little bit smaller because I'm going to place a window there. Okay. Now here's what a lot of teachers like to do. They like to add transparent posters. So I'm going to type in transparent alphabet chart. And here's an alphabet chart. Click on that. Click on insert. And there you have your alphabet chart. Minimize it or shrink it. And I'm going to place that on my wall. Now, I would like a nice frame to go with that. So I'm going to go to insert image, search web. And now I'm going to type in transparent frame. And I will slide down to a frame that I like. Let me put in picture frame. So I can have a little bit more choices. And mm, just to save time, let's just pick one of these frames up here. Insert. And there you go. You're going to shrink that down. And you're just going to place it over. I'd probably pick a different one. And in the other videos, I'll probably fix that. Um, so I don't want too many color schemes going on. But there is my poster frame and poster. And I'm going to make it a little bit wider so it's not covering up that A and that O. There you go. Now I have my chart or my poster on the wall. I would like a window right here, so that's kind of fun. So let me go to insert image, search the web, and I'm going to type in transparent open. <laughs> window. Okay. And I like this mahogany window there, so I'm going to going to insert that, shrink that down. And you need to also go in and search the web for a transparent playground outside. So I would like a playground or outside playground. I'm just going to use this image at the top for time's sake. I was actually able to slide that over and not just insert it. So I'm going to place my outside image there and then I'm going to shrink the window down like so, like so. And then I'm going to make this fit inside my window. And if I can remember, I'm going to go to order and send backward. And voila, you have your background image fitting inside of your window. So again, I clicked on order and I want to send backward. Not send to back, but send backward. Okay. And there you have it. There is a good little virtual classroom set up for you just to show you how to place your images. You can have fun and create and continue going to insert, search the web and adding all types of images that you like. Just type transparent in front of the image. Okay, I hope this helps and have fun.